Howdy, beautiful little Bart here, and welcome. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's been a while, so well, let's get started. All right, so what I've got is the City Studios Polygon Western. I've got a blank project with um, third person added into it. Start with a blank project, add new, and third person added project, and that's as far as I've got. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here is I've already gone to Mixamo and we drag this off screen here and Mixamo. When you go to Mixamo, get signed in. And you pick a character. I'm just going to use um, Ybot because I, it's good enough for me. So as soon as you pick it, go ahead and download it, and then as soon as you figure out which animations you want, go ahead and, and download that as well, each individual one. If you haven't figured out how to do that, then this isn't the tutorial for you then. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder called Mixamo. And inside this folder, let's, let's go ahead and right click on the folder itself, set color. We'll do one, zero, zero, straight up red. So it's quick and easy to find. Okay. What I need to do now is actually go to my hard drive. Now uh, you can do this a couple different ways. Um, I'm using my browser to, uh, or, yeah, using this, I'm going to go ahead and import the actual, the actual character that I, I saved from Mixamo. So all I'm going to do is just left click and drag it and drop it right here. I'm going to have it off on a different screen just so it's easier. It is a skeletal mesh. I'm not going to change anything on here whatsoever. Click Import All. So I can have everything all in this one folder. Gonna get all kinds of goofy crap here and I don't care. And we're gonna do Save All. So we have a skeleton. And it's got all kind of good stuff except for a root. It does not have a root. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to my retargeting manager and I'm gonna select the humanoid rig. As you can see, root none. There isn't one. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is go to pelvis. Start going down the line. Pelvis is going to be hips. Spine one. And now we're going to have to look through here and find what it's called in there. Spine one is going to be the lowest spine, which is going to be spine. Spine two will be spine one. Spine three will be spine two. <laughs> just kind of makes sense if you are translating back and forth. You just need to give something across the board form. The left clavicle will be left shoulder. Any doubts of which is which, you can click on the um, the the model here and actually see what's what. Upper arm, left, should be left arm. Lower arm is going to, lower arm left, is going to be left forearm. Hand L. We're going to come down here and go to left hand. It's pretty self-explanatory going through here, but you're going to need to do this to make sure that the humanoid rig is going to somewhat work. So clavicle R is right shoulder. Upper arm right. Right arm. Lower arm right is right forearm. Hand R is going to be hand right, or right hand. 
All right. Is this perfect? Nope. Head, it found automatically, so that's good. Neck, let's go ahead and do neck. It should have found that one, but it didn't. Thigh left. Yeah, let's come on down here and it's left upper leg. Calf left is left leg. Foot left. And left foot. Now just do the same thing for the right, which is the thigh or upper leg. Right calf. And right foot. So now that we've got all these done, notice he's also in a T-pose. Save. And we're going to close that. And because I have many OCDs, we're going to make sure that um, we go to the main window and auto saving is turned off. All right, so this skeleton should be good to go now. And now we need to go into our mannequin right here. Go to character, mesh, grab this guy. We're going to select humanoid rig. His skeleton's going to be just fine, but he's in a Y pose. Our other character we want to modify over is in a T pose. So let's go ahead and go up 50, down 10, back 30, up 10. And this should get us pretty close. Upper arm up 50. Lower arm down 10 and back 30. And then our hand up 10. So let's um, modify pose. Use current pose and save. Now I'm going to go back and take a look at my Mixamo skeleton. Look how close this, this guy's legs are. Look how close his legs are. tends to be a problem. Um, we can try it the way that it is and see how it works. Alright, we're going to do save all again. Now, what we've got to do here is we want to go ahead and get this to work. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I've been having a lot of requests for this, doing the, the Mixamo to um, uh, Sydney Studios conversion. Make another folder here for animations. We had to have the skeleton that, that's workable. So now that I've got an animations folder, I'm going to go ahead and grab, I've got a dance, a death, and a backflip. Drag those in here and select the skeleton that we have which is going to be Ybot Skeleton. Import all. Yeah, some of them are, are, are pretty good. You know, but, you know, like questions wise, if you, if you ever get questions, just shoot them to me. I do appreciate it. Okay. I imported the animations and what did I get? I got skeletal meshes. What did I get skeletal meshes? Why the hell did I not get animations? Alright, well that sucked. Well, let me dump these guys real quick and let's try that again. Because apparently it didn't take. So we'll go back to Mixamo. Oh, would you eat ass? Alright, so I'm just going to grab 
death. Trouble is, if you're going to do a lot of animations, that's one thing. But probably run into is trying to convert them back and forth and get them to line up. Because if we're at a standard idle, then um, you don't want to suddenly now be holding a weapon or be in a different pose to start doing your death animation. Alright, well, we'll pick this one right here. It's 138 frames. It's fine. Download. I do it download without skin. No reduction, 30 FPS, regular FBX, and let's try this one more again. Dying backwards. I don't like whenever there is spaces. So I'm actually going to go ahead and hit F2 and just rename this and then go ahead and drag that back in here skeleton ybot import all there we got an animation now so if I double click on the animation bleh, we die just lovely. Save all. Okay, so we got this. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually make this work with our UE4 mannequin. And to make this simple, I'm going to create another new folder. Convert. Underscore zero one. And again, just for the hell of it, we're going to set a color new color close enough so now we're gonna put some um, stuff in here let's go to our animation let's right click retarget to the UE4 mannequin skeleton but you notice we have nothing there so let's look back at our Ybot skeleton we need to click apply to asset and then save that's all you need to do if that happens so now we go back in here and here we go retarget and UE4 mannequin skeleton they're both in a t-pose it's just the leg spread is probably gonna annoy me we're gonna hit change and we're gonna tell it to go to our convert folder OK, and retarget. So now this is the new one. And it seems to work. So we've converted over to um, the UE4 mannequin skeleton first. Now, and I, I've done this a bunch of times, and um, we're going to go ahead and create a um, another new folder character and then we'll do another one for animations blueprints and mesh now let's go into I haven't done anything with the polygon pack yet go into our mesh folder characters I'm going to grab our polygon skeleton. I'm going to left click on him and I'm going to copy him over here. And I'm going to rename that to sk underscore polygon. I do it like that so that if I ever want to import other Cinti assets in, I have one universal skeleton. And it works for me. So this skeleton has nothing there's nothing attached to it 
So I'll go back to my character folder and I'm going to grab all of my characters skeletal meshes. I'm going to right click, go to skeleton, assign skeleton, SK polygon, accept. So if I screw something up now, then all i got to do is tell it to go back to the original skeleton. And I've lost nothing, and except for a little bit of time. And I haven't modified my original skeleton. So it works this way. So we'll do save all, save selected, go back into our mesh folder. Not this mesh folder, you schmuck. This one. <laughs> Now we got a dude there. Click apply to asset and save. I'm going to do a quick save all. Everything's good. Now let's look at our animation here. We're not ready yet. Let's actually go into our animations. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to my animation blueprint. I'm going to hit F2 and Control C. Then click off of it. Then I'm going to right click, go to retarget. Go to my SK Polygon, replace, control V with now, um, Polygon, or let's just do P underscore unarmed ABP. Hit change, go to character folder, animations, OK and retarget. Now save all. Let's get a character to work with. Third person BP blueprints. Let's grab our third person character, copy him to the blueprint folder we created. Hit F2. We're going to call this player underscore base. I'm going to go into it. And I'm not going to bother taking out the uh, unnecessary junk right now that I usually do. I'm going to go to my mesh. Change it from SK underscore mannequin. I won't be a cowboy. Or I want to be a um, bad guy. Or let me just pick out whichever one you want. I'm going to be the sheriff. And then animation class, I'm going to go ahead and go to P underscore unarmed. And now, our map, world settings, there's nothing in here. Actually, let's go to third person example map, just so we're in a fresh setting here. We're going to delete EU because we don't need you. Delete this rotating thing here and that off the ground. Game mode override. Third person game mode. I'm going to check here. Default pawn is player underscore base. And we hit play. We now have a character that can run around here and do stuff. Alright, so we have our Cindy character. He's all happy and stuff. Because I do have so many freaking OCDs. Event, begin play. Sorry, I know it does not bother anything whenever you're doing anything else, but it bothers me. And it's that mouse cursor. Set input to game only. Get player controller. And. Say show mouse cursor. Now, we need to go ahead and convert our animation. So, see, no mouse cursor. And jump right in and go. Our animation that we have for, and we don't need you right now, our Mixamo animation. We want, we've already converted that over to UE4 Mannequin Skeleton. So, we know that it now works. Okay? So, now let's actually convert this over. Right click, retarget, like normal. Go to our SK Polygon Skeleton. Click on Change. Go to Character Animations. OK, and retarget. Re 
and there it is. We have successfully converted a Mixamo animation over to use with Cindy Studios characters. So let's actually make it something that we can use here. I'm gonna do another thing really quickly that maybe not necessarily is something you have to do, but I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create animation montage. And that's fine, death montage, don't care. Um, so there it is in a montage. So now I can go back to my blueprint, player underscore base, and I'm just going to find a blank spot right here. I'm going to do keyboard F. Good enough for me. F for fail. When I press this, we want to set movement mode for our character movement. To none. We want to now get a reference to our mesh. Play montage? Yeah. And then on completed, let's go ahead and just grab Control C, Control V, connect U to U. U to on completed and walking. So what we're going to do is just when we press the F key, we're going to stop our character from moving. We're going to play the montage, and then at the end of the montage, we'll be able to start walking again. Um, so it didn't actually play it. Um, because we didn't select one, you dumbass. It's helpful to select the montage you want it to play. So we're walking around, everything's just fine. We hit F, and it didn't work. Um, short term, we're overcomplicating things. We just want to see that it works. So we're, we're going to test it out with play animation Get a reference to the mesh. Again, we just want to see that it works. Now, here's the problem is now we have three times. Is it in Mixamo? No. Is it in Game Convert? No. This is the one under path that I want. So we just want to ugh, play it. All right, nothing fancy. We just play the animation. So, um, can I actually ditch that? And if you want to do it this way, I would say do do the montage. And I, I think what I did was I got the wrong montage in there. We don't know when we need to... We're, we're going to play this animation. We actually don't want to be able to resume. We're just going to stop our character from moving, and we're going to be dead. But this are it. You're running around, and... Uh, dead. And we cannot move our character. We can move our mouse around, but we can't actually move our character around. We hit F again and do it again, but yay! And there was much rejoicing. Um, if you want to do it this way, and I don't suggest doing the play animation, but if you wanted to do it that way, that animation of death, you mouse over it, you look down, you see that the time that it takes for it to do this. If you look through the information in that little pop-up that's that comes up whenever you mouse over, you get your path, cooking, file path, frame rate, blah, 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 sequence length, 4.6. That's how long this animation is, 4.6 seconds. So let's add in a delay of 
4.6. Let's just round it up to 5. Okay, so this is our temporary death sequence. And after that period of time, you want to... Uh, let's go ahead and set actor location and we're going to do that to zero zero and 500 whatever at this point set target self that's fine the location that'll be good so after five seconds we're going to do this and then what we need to do is bring in another one of these, set it to walking, but before we can do that, we need to get out of that animation state. We're now laying on our back, so we need to set animation mode. All right, with set animation mode, use animation blueprint. Um, that's not what I want. Um, uh, yeah, that's not what I want. Changed. Set anim inst. Set animation instance class. It's written out a little bit differently, and we want our P unarmed. Go back to that. So that's going to return us back to our normal animation mode and allow us to start walking again. I'm sure I'm missing something there, but let's go ahead and try it out. So we're running around, everything's awesome, and pfft, uh, we're dead. Shit. Some bitch. Five seconds later. Bang. And everything freaking just crapped out. Thank you, Unreal Engine. You're awesome. So I say, that's not the best way of doing it. Doing the animation montage and, and then setting visibility, make yourself invisible, and then, yeah, there's a whole bunch of other ways of going around doing all that. Uh, where the hell was this damn thing? So yeah, that's not the, the best way of setting up a death animation sequence. I like using montages. Um, don't worry, Tor. How about you kiss my ass? Let's see if it'll work without killing us this time. Well, we're going to die. What we're trying to do is get it to the end of five seconds. Not do that. Alright, so they pretty much have, have destroyed that method. I'm going to go ahead and delete that method. But, yeah, the the questions that were, were posed to me before were setting up animations from Mixamo to Cindy Studios. And that we have accomplished. It's just this. Let's go ahead and go back to this. And let's do that. Get rid of that crap. We did what we set out to do, and that was to the world settings, third person game mode, player base, and play. We'll just get our character to use a Mixamo animation. Cool. Alright, um, I'm going to stop the video here because I did what I was supposed to do. And trying to keep in that theme of things of doing what I'm, uh, 
I'm trying to get accomplished and letting it be done. If you guys want to see more on this, let me know. But this is a Mixable animation being used on a Cindy Studios character. If you want to see a respawn system and health systems and all that kind of stuff, there will be other videos just for that. But that whole idea of doing this don't save that just go to the damn map there we go so we can run around we've retargeted to um, get our Cinti character to work and we can use a Mixamo animation with the Cindy Studios character. Quick overview and then we're out of here. You first off create a folder for your your Mixamo. I would just call it Mixamo because you're going to end up deleting this later anyway. Um, import your your character that you downloaded from Mixamo. Okay import all your animations for that character from Mixamo. All your Mixamo animations will go right here. Just dump them all into this folder. I created another folder called Convert. I modified... Well, first off, with our Mixamo character, go in, set it to Humanoid Rig. Go through your, your list. You're not going to have a root, so leave root empty. You're going to change pelvis to say hips, spine 1 to spine, spine 2 to spine 1, spine 3, spine 2. It will make sense as you're going through. If it does not, screenshot this, pause the video here or any other part of the video where I did this, and just make yours look like this. If you don't have this retargeting manager um, tab, click right there and you'll get it. All right, I will scroll down now. Bottom is clavicle R. So, yeah, follow that all the way down. Pause it here. Make yours look like that. Only one left is the foot R. So, now that you've got those, Go to your UE4 mannequin folder. Go to your character, mesh, UE4 mannequin skeleton. Same thing, select humanoid rig. All these will already be set. Our character is not in the correct position. He's in a Y pose. You're going to then need to go ahead and raise the upper arm up by 50. Lower arm, lower down by 10. Rotate it backwards. 30. The hand, raise it up by 10. What you'll end up with is both sides, don't do it that way. Once you've got your character in the T pose, what you did on this side, do the same thing for this side right here, and then click on modify pose, use current pose, and then save. Make sure you hit that save button. That's the main part of it right there. And then you can go ahead and once you are ready, you retarget your death animation or whatever animations you've got saved right here. You can grab all of them all at one time and retarget them just by left click and then shift left click on the very last one and then retarget it by right click retarget, duplicate anim and retarget, select your UE4 mannequin skeleton, click on change, put it in a temporary folder, I called mine convert, and then hit retarget. Once it's done, it'll be working correctly with the UE4 mannequin skeleton. It's delightful, it's save, you don't have to change anything on it, 
then go ahead and do your retargeting for your Cindy Studios characters so that you've got you know your working animation blueprint and everything else um, some things to think about for later when you start building all some complicated stuff you'll be working in your animation blueprint but once you've got that done you now convert this animation the same way right click retarget duplicate select your polygon skeleton um, change tell it where you want it to go retarget it and then you end up with your animation that works all right got any questions give me a shout um, I'll be on and off of Discord. Um, if you guys want to see anything else this evening before I, I call it a night, um, and yeah, to let me know. Or if you just want me to do another after show where I just take questions and goof off and make crap work, let me know as well. But thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.